This is the second part of a two-part series of videos on how to create a radial gauge. The first part being a bird's eye view on how to create the radial gauge pointer. The second part I'm going to show you is how to create the radial gauge from scratch. First of all, I'm going to save my page. I'm going to call this radial gauge. Select OK. Go to the left side panel and choose that page. I'm going to go to settings and change to edit mode. I'm now going to delete what I don't want. Choose text and I'm going to change some aspects of this text. I'm going to scroll down to align and I'm going to change the alignment to center. I'm going to go to decimal places and change to zero so that's zero digits after the point. I'm going to change my font size and my line height to 12. That's 12 pixels. I'm going to change my text. I'm going to copy this several times. I'm going to change this piece of text to have two digits after the point and I'm going to change this colour and this colour will match the gauge dial pointer. I'm going to scroll up and this time the decimal places are going to be two digits after the point and it's going to be in italic. The remaining pieces of text, the descriptors are going to change to zero and 50. So this is for the range of my dial. I'm going to start drawing my arc. Let's pick a point on the grid and I'm going to make this arc 180 degrees. I'm going to select the arc and I'm going to scroll down in the properties area and choose open arc. Scroll back up and I'm going to make the line thickness 3. I'm going to change the edging of this arc. So I go to line cap and there's various options here. There's round, butt and square. I'm just showing you the options. This is square and this is what I want to select. I'm now going to change my snap pixel size and I'm going to draw on my number indicators. So this is for 0, 50 and 100. I'm going to change the line thickness to 3. going to select polyline, change my snap pixels to 1 and these are my 75 and 25 indicators. I'm now going to place the text down near the dial so the lighter lines 25 and 75 don't have any numerals against them just showing the indication just zooming in and placing better on the grid Select both 0 and 100 and align to the bottom. I select polyline, change my snap pixels and I'm going to start drawing my pointer. 
This is the one that I drew before in the first video. Select the end, close the path and fill that object. I'm changing the colour to match the text. I choose the middle grey handle and I'm going to link to data. I create my bindings, I choose my data source, search for my tag and add my tag. The bound property is rotation, the data range is 0 to 100 and the value is 0 to 180, 180 being the degrees. I'm going to add the data to the text, add 0 to 100 and save the changes. The last thing to do is draw the circle, select the circle and go to the palette and change the fill to black. I'm going to now group the pointer and the black circle, go to properties and choose group. I'm now going to group the whole thing and I'm going to create a genie. I'm going to give this genie a new name. Zero one R dash. So I highlight that and copy it, scroll down and choose add genie to library. I paste that name in, choose genie and add 0 to 100 in the value box. Choose OK and for both pop-ups I choose OK. Go down to genies and scroll down to find that new genie. I'm going to go to Tags, set my new tag. I'm going to choose another one, set a different tag, say OK. I'm just going to tidy this page up a bit. Select and move that gauges along. Now I'm going to select them all and align to the bottom. I'm going to save my page. Go to time controls and it's defaulted to historical. Press play and I see that my gauges are performing as expected. And that's how you create a radial gauge in PNID. Thanks for watching.